Well, hey there, friends. <laughs> uh, I'm here today with Stratton Leopold. Uh, you know, he's my dear friend that owns Leopold's Ice Cream. His father, my father started the business. And his older brother, yes. Yes, almost 100 years ago, y'all. Yeah. Stratton looks good to be 100, doesn't I he? age well. <laughs> I, I try to. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what all's cooking. Well, we're just so I, excited. I, I, yeah, you you're offering ice cream around the world, or we're something? we're shipping. Well, we we had shipped to Tom this Cruise in London. This is the best ice cream you have ever put in your mouth, y'all. No, thank you. It, no, we um, have built a creamery. Uh huh. So now we're we have been for the last several months shipping across the country. Um, mm -hmm. Some big customers in Las Vegas and California, both. And, and what just, did you say about Tom Cruise? No, uh, we shipped We shipped for Thanksgiving. We uh -huh. shipped some to London. He was filming there. No. Yeah. I, no. Well, the way it got there, too, we shipped to New York, and his plane happened to be there. So. Oh, my goodness. Uh, if y'all have ever seen Stratton and me together, you know, I've told you that uh, Savannah lost him for a good long while right. to Hollywood. He went on to Hollywood to be a yeah. big producer especially a lot of Tom Cruise's movies. Well, uh, so they became friends yeah. over the years. And I, I was at Paramount for about 12 years doing uh -huh. films there, but my love was always Savannah, and thank goodness. Yes, I and we're so glad you came back home. Oh, I am as well. Uh, the the ice cream shop is located on Broughton Street. Yes, yes. Uh, it's but, in a historic district. Yes, and you can always see a line there. And you also offer wonderful sandwiches, I understand. Yes, we do. I always think about ice cream, though, when I hear I do your as name. well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, uh, where did you build your factory? We bought a building in Savannah on 37th and Price Streets. Yeah. And it's about 5,000 So it's really feet. downtown. It is downtown as well. And we manufacture everything the same way, small five-gallon batches, all natural ingredients, no artificial oh, anything. We, say, we do it the same way there. The advantage there, I have larger freezers. Yeah. So then I can make more ice cream. Because your shop downtown, you're like us, you're limited for space. Yes, yes. It, I, it's busy. I don't know how big your, your, the back part of your business is, but it couldn't be too, too big. Not, not big enough. Yes. But yes. anyway, we're very excited about that, and the shipping part is going well. We started making ice cream cakes and pies. No. Yes. You should You should see some. They're I'm beautifully, an ice cream beautifully cake. decorated. No. Yep. And you found a local person with that kind of talent. We hired them. Yes, they're on our staff now. Oh, yay. Yeah. But they, you found them here in yes, Savannah. Yes, we did. Yes, yay. we did. Go Stratton. Uh, no, we're just so excited, and they're beautiful cakes, and and it's that's gonna that's gonna. All right, be just... now how? Let me ask you mm. this because uh, you know I'm on Evine, and I sell products on a home shopping network, mm -hmm. and I know shipping can sometimes be very very expensive. Mm -hmm. Have you worked it out where uh, the shipping can be reasonable for we, somebody that's got a hankering? Yes, we do. Um, we, we do two day. We put enough dry ice in it, uh -huh. so that lowers the cost substantially. Good, yeah. good, because I know shipping really affects my sales. Mm -hmm. So when we can offer free or reduced shipping, you know, it you helps can, a lot. Yeah, you it can see sales go up. Well, plus what we do as well, um, if you order, say, four pints of ice cream, we'll throw uh -huh. in a fifth one free. Oh, that's great. So, again, as an incentive, just, yes. just, just to offset some of the costs. Yes, to make people feel like they're really getting mm -hmm. something. And we'll start shipping too. We make our own caramels and fudges and all that. We'll start shipping that as well. Oh my gosh. It's oh. fun. It's a lot of fun, Paul. I know. Isn't it great? It really is. Uh, your business is like mine. You get immediate gratification. Yes, yes, yes. And I love that. I've always said I'm so glad I don't sell life insurance. Oh. You know, or something like that. And there's people that make a great living. Yeah, there are people who do that. So. But I love that immediate gratification. Mm -hmm. I do as well. <laughs> so, do, do I understand you've got a catalog? We, we're putting together something. We don't have it out yet, but yes, we'll have it. Okay. That. Now, how will we be able to know? Because I would love to have one of those catalogs. Well, right now, everything's online. Okay. So, we will do so a So, you would go to? You go to leopoldsicecream.com. Okay. And, and we have everything there. And all the shipping information, everything is there. So oh, good. Um, we're working on the shipping of the cakes now, just figuring out the packaging. That, uh -huh. that, we should have it done in the next week or two. But 
It's fun. It's great fun. Oh, well, I'm, I'm so happy, and I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud that I can call a Savannah native mm. uh, who's been so blessed with, with such a, a well-rounded life. I'm oh. proud to call you friend. Likewise, too. And, you know, Thank you. I've enjoyed everything I've done, the movies, which are still a couple of movies I do want to make. But it is just so much fun to be I, back in Savannah and to, and to be doing this. I know. Oh, and, and, and for you, it's a it's We're a so happy to have you. So what else is happening? Well, just um, a couple of films I want to make, but right now the focus... This is Max. Uh, Ma Max you is haven't here. met Max yet. No. He's our newest addition. <laughs> hey. Max, this is Stratton. You can call him Mr. Stratton. <laughs> There's your paw. That's good. <laughs> no, it's, uh, we're, we're focusing now on the shipping and the ice cream cakes and okay. pies. So okay. that's our focus. Well, we've got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back because I want to hear everything you're okay. doing. Okay, sounds good and Max as well. <laughs> I think it's so important that you're happy with the look and feel of your home. In fact, my recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made for you. You can work one-on-one -on -one with an expert designer with their in-home design services or you can take advantage of their free measuring and low-cost installation services. Guarantee a perfect fit. So create a space that you're gonna love. Contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, y'all. 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. For details about my special offer, just go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. Well, hey, y'all, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> all, all three of us are back. <laughs> And occasionally all four yes, of us. Yes, exactly. All right, so Gus, if you'll lay down, buddy, while I talk uh, to Mr. Stratton, please. Uh, gosh, I could talk to you all day long, yeah. Stratton. So tell me, your father was in a building on Gwinnett Street, yes. right? That was yes. his original yes. location. Yes, yes. And have you owned that building all these years? Oh, yes, since 19, since before that. Okay, so you never sold mm -hmm. it when you went off to no. Hollywood. Okay, and tell everybody what you're doing to that because when people come to town, they can do tours, can't yes, they? Yes, of course. Tours of manufacturing as well as what we have on Gwinnett. Wonderful. What, what we're going to do is um, redo Gwinnett and Habersham as it was in the 1940s. It was a high school hangout, so we'll have less. Was of, it yeah, really? It was for BC primarily, but yes, it was a hangout. So I didn't it, know it that. was the malt shop that you expect you see in the movies. Yes. So what we're going to do there, decor wise, is do less of the movie things and do more of, of the period high school things in Savannah. Oh, and of course, strange. being an inveterate pack rat, I have my letter jacket, I have all no. this stuff. Oh, yeah. I've got my cheerleading outfit. If Bring I it over. Going. Bring it over. <laughs> do a... I do a cheer. There you go. It's well, be that's fun. gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like stepping back in time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. At a time when America was more innocent. Innocent. Yeah. Innocent, and you you didn't have to walk around being fearful of everything. And, yes, exactly. Well, so I'm I'm just I can't wait to slip back in that time with you. Well, the thing about it too, we're constantly asked to close for birthday parties or adult receptions even. Yes. Uh, and we can't do that downtown; it's too busy. Yes, right. But at Habersham, we'll be able to do it. That's wonderful. We're, and you won't have to close to, on Habersham. Habersham and Gwinnett. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was on the corner of Habersham. Yes. Okay, so you won't have to close down. You'll have enough space. There. Yes, and it, it's a second floor that we'll have as well. So, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So we're very excited Just about Just wonderful. That. All right, well, you mentioned earlier there's still a couple of movies yes. that you want to make. Yes, Tell me what they are. Well, the latest one, <laughs> it's a book. I think I know. In the Sanctuary of Outcasts, it's called. We talked about we this did. one time. This is a, so tell me. Okay, this is a true story. Happened 22 years ago. A man named Neil White, um, this one, he graduated from Ole Miss and he um, started a magazine there in Oxford. 
magazine didn't go well and, and it failed. So he went then down to the, to the um, Gulf Coast, started a magazine there, successful. Did very well um, with four, but New Orleans magazine was doing very well. Um, the receivables weren't coming in as, 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 as they should and he had to do some, ba some banking, some creative banking. Well, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't kosher. So he got caught at that. Now here's, the, here's where the movie starts. He was sentenced, he was convicted of bank fraud. He, he's a wonderful man. I've known Neil now for a little while. He was so sentenced. he is still alive. Oh, he's in his 50s. He's, he's young. Oh, he's a young man. <laughs> yes. And getting um, younger every day yeah. that I live. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that. I do too. <laughs> but he was sentenced to a minimum security prison in Carville, Louisiana which was one half minimum security dormitory prison. Right. The other half still is the United States leper colony. No one, people, there are people in a leper hospital. There are very few left now because the drugs are better. But when he was there 20 years ago, there were 130 patients. No. And the story is about his change and his redemption as a result of, 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 these, of these patients. Mm -hmm. Um, did he come in contact with these patients? Yeah, he did. He wasn't supposed to. I was going to say, uh, lepers are not supposed to be around well, anybody, right? That's that's the theory. No one really knows. The Is only, it contagious? The only known vector for contagion are armadillos. I'm not kidding. That's the only known what way. What now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm they sure tested this on armadillos. No, no, no. Armadillos carry it. Sick armadillos will carry no. it. No. Yes. Yes. It's a little known fact. I'm sure there are other, other vectors, but now since the, the medicines have gotten so much better, there's not that much research. Right. But anyway, his life was changed so much. He's a wonderful man now. His and the story is that arc of his life. Uh -huh. This one patient in particular, Zella, Zella Bounds is her name. She's gone now. She was 80 when he met her 20 years ago. I want Cicely Tyson. I've got to talk her into playing it. Because oh, Zella, we have photographs. She had lost her legs. She had been... She had been at Carville since age 12. The sadness there, Paula, um, you have prominent families in New Orleans who just discard these people. You have oh. leprosy, change your name. It's so much sadness there. And Neil wrote about that. Just it's um, the, the transition that he made from going in um, from this big, big magazine, he, he was recognized nationally, to becoming this really nice guy. Mm -hmm. It's just um, amazing, that tra amazing transition. So um, those valleys mm. cannot always be bad. Correct. That's correct. In fact, I'm, I'm due to speak at a high school graduation, and two of the points I want to make, you know, I, I, you've heard him, Liff Lewis, you're about to embark on this, blah, blah, blah. Yes. I'm, I'm just going to tell the, tell the seniors, tell the graduates, think of two things. Um, th uh, embrace change. It will happen. You, yes. you will. Well, it's happened to both of us. Yes, and people don't like change. But, but you have to embrace it. And then the you second do. thing is embrace failure, because um, goodness knows it's going to happen somewhere along your life, and you that have to embrace it. That is such good advice. Uh, it's it's something that that they have to think of. Yeah. If you can look back and learn from your mistakes. That makes him very oh my valuable. Goodness, of course. Very valuable, it's doesn't it? Yes, totally. And uh, I, I know that I've learned more from my failures than I have from my success. Mm. Yeah, well, um, goodness knows when I was at Paramount, you, the, the, you, you encounter that quite a bit. So you have to accept it and move forward. Yes, yes. And when, when I'm making a movie, my goodness, the, the, daily, the daily challenges when, especially on the larger pictures, uh -huh. are huge. And the decisions, huge. the decisions have to be made very quickly, and sometimes the impact is not what you expect. Right. I think it's so important that you're happy with the look and feel of your home. In fact, my recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made for you. You can work one-on-one -on -one with an expert designer with their in-home design services, or you can take advantage of their free measuring and low-cost installation services. Guarantee a perfect fit. 
So create a space that you're gonna love. Contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, y'all. 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. For details about my special offer, just go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. You're such a wise man. Oh, goodness. Not only does he make great ice cream, y'all, he's smart, too. He looks good, he smells good, and uh, dadgummit, people like him. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I like people but love you, Paul. <laughs> and I love you, Stratton. Mm. Uh, well, I'm so happy for you and all your success and the fact that you're back home with us, and I can't wait to visit the Gwinnett yeah. Habersham uh, That's gonna shop. That's going to be fun. Can't That's hardly wait. Uh, so, how close are you to getting that movie made? Well, I'm that's going gonna to be incredible. People don't know that there's lepers no. here no. behind doors. No. Um, so, hopefully, you'll get that made. Yes. Quick. Uh, well, I'm going to Mississippi uh, tomorrow, actually, just uh, Yay. to talk to some attorneys there who Yay. would like to get involved with it. Good. So well, we'll thanks see. so much. I know you're Thank a busy, you. busy man, and for you to take time out um, to come visit with my friends. We appreciate well, thank it. thank you, And Paula. I love you to death, darling. Okay. Likewise. <laughs> and don't forget the chocolate show we did. Oh, I remember. Y'all have to look that one up. <laughs> 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 he called my bluff. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Stratton. you, Paula. <laughs> so if y'all are planning a visit, uh, friends, to Savannah, there's a couple of things that you have to do, and one of those you must visit my grandson's favorite ice cream shop, Leopold's Ice Cream. It's on Broughton Street, and there's a good chance you'll see this uh, salt and pepper good-looking man standing <laughs> behind the counter with that goofy ice cream hat on. That would be Stratton. 